There's a new sports complex in the works for the youth of the Jackson community. That's right, 12 News' team and I got a chance to stop by and see some of the renovations. The old warehouse off of Raymond Road has had many titles. In fact, it was originally the very first Sam's Club in the city. Shortly thereafter, it became a furniture store. But now, it's the Jackson Multi Sports Complex on behalf of the Development Academy and New Horizon Ministries. Representative Ronnie Crudup Jr. for District 71 has big plans for the facility. I do sort of a multi sport complex, but also uh, with different other activities. So we're starting off with basketball, with rock climbing, uh, boxing, and uh, tennis, and things like that are going in. But we, we hope to try to have more opportunities here for kids and youth to be able to express their uh, art, but also what their activities can be. Representative Crudup says there's a lack of opportunities for the youth in Jackson. His mission is to eliminate that and create a space for kids to play and have fun. There's a lot of negativity sometimes that's going on with our youth in the city of Jackson. There's not a lot of opportunities. And so we built this place to be able to hold more youth. Uh, we did midnight basketball, the Friday night basketball all throughout the summer. And we quickly, quickly saw that uh, the space wasn't big enough or large enough. And so we built another second court, a larger facility that could hold more teenagers, more youth, and also that uh, we could do more things, not only just basketball, but also other activities and arts. But we'll be doing opportunities for kids to be able to just come and play and, and have fun, you know, open gym uh, runs, but also we plan on hosting tournaments here and doing other things and uh, just making it really useful for this community. TDA and New Horizon begin the project back in April and hope to have it open for play by the end of the month. Renovations have taken place from the inside out and anyone looking to help make this a safe space for kids of the community are more than welcome to be a part of the project. In Jackson, Tamer Knight, 12 News.